Well, it's Saturday, July 24th. Let's take a look at our plants. That's Mr. Jalapeno. He looks pretty good. He likes his water, though. He gets pretty sad if he doesn't get enough water. And there's some... I forget what all this stuff is. Oh, that's that daggum okra. So we don't have much going on. We got we planted a whole bunch more tomatoes this morning. We're not sure which ones are going to take off and which ones aren't. And we had them, so we figured we'll plant them. And then we can just throw out uh, any that die. We'll just pull them out. Now, since last week, last Sunday, we planted a bunch more stuff. And uh, I can't ever remember if these are the peas or the beans, but they came up in a week's time. They came up this much from seeds, seven days today, which is amazing to me. They look really good. We got a whole bunch of them in there. That's the thing about the garden, about the doing the square foot, is because you can see just in one. We got nine plants in one square. That's how close you can plant those. So we're gonna see how those do. And the other thing that's come up real good is these pumpkins. We planted these from seeds. We put two seeds in there, one for the birds and one for the garden, and the birds didn't get any. So both of these got two plants. We're gonna have to take one of, one of these plants out. So those came up real good. And then yesterday, we did our little patio, put all these bricks in. So we got, we got us a little patio going on there in the middle of our garden. It looks pretty good. We like it. We got to get some small bricks to go around some of this other stuff. And, uh, we just did this to cover up that system, that aerobic system, which is basically just like three tanks in the ground. And uh, the aerobic system's got built-in sprinklers. So the water goes out across the yard down, the, down there. It's, it's pumped out at night in the, after the sun goes down. It turns into a lawn sprinkler. And those are probably 60 to 100 feet away, those sprinkler heads. So basically all this is really is just uh, three, three tanks. So we had to use the big lids to cover up the tank covers, the big bricks. The little squares would just fall in. So that's why it kind of looks funny. Because for the most part, Every one of those squares is covering up a, a tank lid. You can kind of see it here. There's a little lid there. There's a lid there. I don't know why these normal, you know, your normal septic system only has one tank. But these aerobic ones, they got a whole bunch of access lids. But anyways, so that's what we've done since last week. And that's what our growth is so far. And we also did this this morning. We got us an Australian tomato plant. And we're calling it that just because it's hanging upside down, which would be right side up if you were in Australia. Anyways, but it's one of those topsy-turvy things we had bought before we decided to do the garden. We had another plant, so we stuck it in there. Just We'll just see how that goes. Pretty easy to do. I mean, throw a bunch of dirt in the in the container. It's only got about four or six inches of dirt in it. You don't fill it all the way up. And that's it. In our little lake back there. Alright, we'll see y'all next week.